Hello all. Welcome back to our channel No Street Varsity. In the previous video we discussed different types of manipulators and their uses along with their examples. In this video we will see how function arguments are used and will write a C++ program to swap two numbers using call by reference and call by value. In the last video I gave you two assignment questions at the end. So let's first discuss them and then we will discuss our next topic. Let's see our first assignment. The question was what is the difference between ndel and backslash n? Our intention of using ndel and backslash n is to insert a new line, but despite both doing same work, their working mechanism is different. ndel is a manipulator while black backslash n is a character. Backslash n takes cur cursor to next line, while ndel appends backslash n and flushes the output stream by calling flush on the stream. That's why ndel works slowly in comparison to backslash n. Therefore, the use of ndel should be avoided in instances where performance is a major issue. I hope it's clear to you all. So now let's see our second question. Can we design our own manipulator that is user defined manipulators in C++? If yes, how? Yes, we can design our own manipulator that is user defined manipulators in C++ according to this requirement of the program. The syntax for designing manipulator is as follows. The M name is the name of the manipulator. So now let's make a user defined manipulator over here. The question is write a program to write a user defined manipulator equivalent to backslash t use it in the program and format the output. We have included iostream, ioman, ip and conio.h. As you've seen the syntax of user defined manipulator, it was like ostream, ampersand and manipulator name. So manipulator name is given over here as tab and ostream and o. O is the object. So o and then backslash t. That is what we have to do is we have to insert backslash t in place of tab. So this is how it is written and then return 0. How this will be done in the int main is like cout1 and then tab. Here tab is calling the user defined manipulator this function and then the backslash t is inserted. It is a tab is given and then 2 and then again tab is called. So this is how we can call as many times as we want this manipulator and we can insert anything we want. Here we have written backslash t. We can even write backslash n for new line or anything we want. So this is how the user defined manipulator is made. So now let's build it, press function f2 for the logs, there is no error. So let's run it, the output comes out to be 1, 2 and 3 separated by tabs. Let's close it. Let's see here that the tab is the manipulator name and the two lines enclosed in a block is the code for the manipulator. So that's all for the assignment questions, I hope you might have understood them. Now let's jump to today's topic, function arguments and how to swap values using call by reference and call by value. Before looking for swapping two values using functions, let's see what are functions. Function is a group of statements that are designed to perform a specific task. They are usually used when we want to execute a piece of code multiple number of times. So in this way we just call that function and it gets executed. By this we reduce writing that piece of code multiple number of times. So if we want to make some changes in the code, we can do it in a particular function rather than changing the whole code. We can call these functions from any other location of source code which is an advantage. A function has certain inputs and outputs. They are not necessarily needed. We can provide functions with certain parameters and it can return a value for us. For example, function to add two numbers. In this we, we have written int add int a comma int b and then return a plus b. Here add is the function name, int a comma int b are the function parameters. Return a plus b is the return statement. We can also have some function with it, with, which return nothing. For that we use void in place of int like void add. In the previous example we have written int add, here we have written void add. So it receives nothing as a parameter. Here we have written c out 5 plus 6 endl. That is we, have, we are giving the values by ourselves. In the int main we have given int result is equal to add 5 comma 6. As we knew that add 5 comma 6 will be passed so we have written 5 plus 6 in the void add and then we have outputted the result like c out result and then endl and then when we will run it it gives the output 11 so it's all for the basics of the functions now let's jump to writing a c++ program to swap two numbers using third variable the swapping of numbers can be done by three methods so let's understand them one by one in call by value Value being passed to the function is locally stored by the function parameter in stack memory location. If you change the value of function parameter, it is changed for the current function only and not for the caller function. Let's try to understand the concept of call by value in C++ language 
by this example. Write a C++ program to swap two numbers using call by value. Initially, we have declared the swap function void swap int comma int, which means that swap is the function name, and we will take the values as integers only. And then int main, int main we have initialized the variables a and b. Uh, we want to print a line and the two numbers you want to swap, and then we take the input of a and b, and then we write after swapping two numbers, swap a comma b is called. That is, a and b. The values we have in, we have taken are to be swapped using swap function, and then what will happen? The swap function will be called, which takes int x and int y. Here, a third variable temp is made int temp, temp equal to x, x equal to y, and y equal to temp, and then x and y values are outputted separated by a space, and then return zero is called. So now let's build it. Function f two to see the log. There is no error. Let's run it. And the two numbers you want to swap. Let's say we write one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, four. Let's press enter. After swapping numbers are six, seven, eight, nine, four, and one, two, three, four, five. This is how the values are swapped. Remember that in call by value, the actual and formal parameters or arguments will be created in different memory locations. So that's all for call by value. Let's see our next method, call by reference. In call by reference, original value is modified as we pass reference, or we can say address, and not the value itself. Here, address of the value is passed in the function, so actual and formal arguments share the same address space. Hence, if we change the value inside the function, it is reflected inside as well as outside the function. It is of two types. Let's first discuss the first one, passing by reference without pointers, through an example. So the question is: Write a C++ program to swap two numbers using call by reference without pointers. Here, the same thing: void swap. But the thing is, int ampersand ampersand indicates that the address is to be passed and not the value. In the call by value, we we have written only the int comma end. Here, we have written ampersand, which indicates that the address is to be given, or we can say the reference. And then in the int main, we have initialized the values a equal to one and b equal to two. Before swapping, we have printed the values like a equal to and then b equal to, and then we have called the swap function. The swap function is written here like int ampersand x and int ampersand y. X and y are the variables. Int temp temp equal to x, x equal to y, and y equal to temp, which is the swapping code we we all know. And then after swapping, the values are like a equal to a and b equal to b are printed. So this is how the whole code is written. Let's build it to see. What happens? Function f2 to see the log. There is no error. Let's run it. It says a equal to one, b equal to two, and then after swapping, a equal to two and b equal to one. We have not taken the input. We have just initialized the values by a equal to one and b equal to two. So this is how the C++ program to swap two numbers takes place. Now the point comes: How will the compiler get to know that whether it is a reference or the value itself? The answer is is given already by me that the ampersand indicates that the reference and Is coming, and if we don't write this ampersand, that it indicates that the original variable, that is the variable itself, is coming. Remember that only the reference of the variables a and b are received in the swap function, and swapping takes place in the original address of the variable. In the swap function, x and y are formal arguments, which are same as that of a and b, which are the actual arguments, which was not in the case of the call by value, as in that case the copy of the variables was passed. And not the original variables. Here, the original variables are passed. Now so comes the next method, call by reference with pointers. So some changes are to be made here because we have we are using pointers. So here, swap function is present. Int asterisks. Here, asterisks is used, which is used for the pointers. And then int main int a equal to one b equal to which is same as the previous code before swapping a equal to a b equal to b and then swap ampersand a. Here, this time ampersand a is used. Imp Place of a and b. This is a slight change in this code. We will find that the output of this example is same as before. In this case, the address of variable is passed during function call rather than the variable itself. So this is why the asterisk is used over here. Note that in swap ampersand a ampersand b, ampersand a is address of a and ampersand b is address of b. So let's see the code of void swap int asterisk x and int asterisk y. Since we have passed the address instead of value, deference operator must be used to access the value stored in that address. In the line, 
void swap in test x in test is y and then the usual code we used to write and temp temp equal to s is x s is x equal to s is y and then s is y equal to temp here s is x and x is y are the values stored at address x and y respectively and remember that since x contains the address of a any changes done to s is x changes the value of a in main function as well similarly b will have the same value as s is y so let's build that function f2 for the log there is no error let's run it it gives the same output as before before swapping a equal to 1 b equal to 2 and after swapping a b a equal to 2 and b equal to 1 so it's all for today's topic functions and swapping of two numbers using the third variable by now you might be confused by pass by reference and pass by value so let's see some differences between them the difference between pass by reference and pass by value is that modifications made to arguments passed in by reference in the call function have effect in the calling function whereas modifications made to arguments passed in by value in the call function cannot affect the calling function as we have seen that in the by value code we have passed the copy of arguments and not the original values while in that of by reference value we have passed the original address the second point is if we want to modify the argument in the calling function also then use pass by reference otherwise use pass by value so these are the two differences between pass by reference and pass by value let's see the difference between pass by reference without pointers and pass by pointer the difference between pass by reference without pointer and pass by pointer is that pointers can be null or reassigned whereas references cannot so if we are having the pointers then it, they can be null and reassigned that means we can reassign a pointer whereas a reference cannot be reassigned or it cannot be null use pass by pointer if null is a valid parameter value or if you want to reassign the pointer that is the obvious case and otherwise use constant or non constant references to pass arguments so that's all for today's topic functions and swapping of two numbers using the third variable now in the next video we will discuss it without using third variable now let's see some tricky assignment questions for your practice first question is write a program to find sum of two integers without using plus operator we have written many questions using plus operator but this time you have to write without using plus operator and the second question is write a program to divide an integer by 4 without using divide operator so these are the two questions we will discuss in the next topic till then keep practicing solve these two questions and we will see the solution in the next video so it's all for today's topic hope you like this session thanks for watching like share and subscribe for any query you may leave a comment in the comment box or mail us at nertuver@gmail.com you may also follow us at our other social media handles links to them are given here see you soon in the next video till then enjoy learning